episode number two of Brothers Stand Up. This is a platform which endeavors to highlight the work and accomplishments of black men all across the world. My name is Doug Ruffin of Urban Legacy Filmworks. Thanks so much for joining us. Our first story takes us to Baltimore, Maryland, where two brothers opened up a movie theater. Article is from Black Enterprise Magazine, and it reads as follows. Next Act Cinema, a new black family-owned movie theater in Baltimore, Maryland, opened its doors to the public on March 7th, 2019. Even better is that the majority of the feedback that the theater has gained has came shortly after its opening. And of all that feedback, of course, was positive. The founders, brothers Anthony Fikes and Robert Wright, said that they wanted to create an independent type of boutique theater that offers a unique, personalized, movie-going experience. Now, the brothers have always considered it to be somewhat of a dream, a life's goal to open up their own theater. They started out by having a theater room right in the comfort of their own home before they eventually would promote it to the entire city of Baltimore. Next Act Cinema changes the theater scene by promoting luxury within the theater experience. It's the kind of movie theater that contains over 86 leather chairs, huge screens, and incredible sound, which creates a beautiful experience for any movie fan. So that sounds very encouraging to me. I don't know about you. You know, we all like to go to the movies every now and then, you know, on the weekend or catch a matinee during the day when we're off from work. And uh, next time I get ready to go to the movies, I'll certainly make a trip down there to Baltimore, Maryland and check those brothers out. Now, our next story basically comes from Facebook. Um, this is about how a black father's Facebook group recently reached 9,000 members and it is doing remarkable work in, in shattering the stereotypes that exist pertaining to black fathers. Article reads as follows. When Matt Prestberry gained custody of his then two and three year old sons after divorcing his first wife, the single dad knew he needed support. He states that I'm very much an introvert and um, he tells Yahoo Parenting that he knew that he wanted to build a brotherhood of fathers, in a sense, because he didn't see anything like that out there that had presently had existed. Now, the 39-year-old um, Baltimore father stated that um, in 2008, he, and also he's a kindergarten teacher, he took matters into his own hands and founded the Black Fathers Facebook group for dads. He wanted to create a virtual space where fathers could come together and be a resource for one another and help break the stereotypes to change the narrative of what it means to be a black father in America. Now, Pressberry now is remarried. He has four children today, sons Breon, 16, Bryce, 14, Braylon, 10, and daughter Layla, Eight, with his second wife, Kelly. He states that there used to be this perception that fathers, and in particular black fathers, all abandoned their children. And he wanted to have stories represented like his, where the fathers are actively involved in their children's lives. Now the article goes on to say that for the men involved in the Facebook group, the, face, the black fathers group states that it's been a godsend. Quote, he's, he's quoted as saying, not long ago, a member posted that he was going to court for a custody issue with the mother of his son. He put out there that, he, he, he basically put it out there and um, the members of the group all wished him well and some even gave him legal advice. Then the next day he posted that he received full custody of his son. And to hear that news was just very exciting because we didn't know from most of us, we, you did, they didn't know each other from a can of paint in, in the Facebook group, which is the case for many of these groups. And they were able to wish him luck and share advice and definitely have him come back and tell us 
about his experience in the court, and it, it basically meant a lot to everybody that was involved in the group. And he states that it showed me that the group is really touching people's lives and making a difference. So what we want to say on behalf of Brothers Stand Up, salute to Matt Pressberry and all the members of the Black Fathers Facebook group. That concludes this episode, episode number two of Brothers Stand Up. If you want more information on the articles, I will post the links for you in the description box and you can read further on those articles. Feel free to buy, you know, follow me on social media. You can reach me at Instagram as well as Facebook. Just type in Urban Legacy Filmworks. The pages will pop right up here on YouTube. Definitely make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section. Also, feel free to peruse my YouTube channel and see other projects that I and Urban Legacy Filmworks have created. And show some love that way. And I'd certainly love to hear from you. It's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for checking me out. And I will see you for episode three of Brothers Stand Up. Peace.